Yo, what is up, guys? How's it going? Uh, I haven't been up to much since last stream. Uh, I've decided to take up a new hobby. But other than that, I don't think much has changed. What's up with you guys? How are you doing? What have you been up to these past two days? Uh, let's just get right into it. Let's see where the conversation goes. Honestly, I haven't planned anything for today. <clears throat> so, let's see how, let's see what we talk about. We're gonna finish up this game today. Uh, there's not much left, so. That was quite the fall, Raiden. <laughs> I hope we can- I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out it. of Denver. Enemy sighted. Easy enough, you know. <laughs> oh, I got that arm. I didn't even realize. Uh, there is an achievement for getting out of here. Like, I don't know what is it? Like ten minutes? Less? I'm gonna guess it's right. probably less. Are you alright? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal. And what's left of it. I wonder if that counts towards the timer. Listen, Gecko, we're not here to play around. We gotta get out of the city now. I like how a soul can't be cut is just plain every time there's an encounter. Oh. Uh, can I get this? Yes! Get off! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no damage. Didn't even realize. Right, hurry. It may be an RLB, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. What I really hope is that this is all still this, all the codex and the, you know, all that doesn't count towards the timer, but knowing Metal Gear, it probably does. So I, I'll probably have to come back and play this on my own just to get this achievement. There we go. Oh uh, no! Is it just near to right and like get stunned way too easily? I don't know. It feels like that way. With the sound, to the vibration, my heart starts to pound, pound, pound. Are you kidding me? We don't have time for this. I've located a route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your solid on radar. Relatively. That's... That's the, uh... 
I don't. I forgot the word for it. Why did you disobey the evacuation order? Uh, I was. Uh, I. Yes. You were right. Sorry, dude. Oh, I got the arm. Get off. What's up, dude? Sorry I couldn't save you. I like right. how he said the I route has relatively low staff. security and it's just the same route that we took to get there. Oh, I couldn't get that other one. What's in here? Well, there goes my... There goes my achievement. Watermelons. Is this a reference? <laughs> Enemy behind you! Yeah, when they first showed off this game at E3 2000 whatever, uh, this game was running on the Fox engine. And one of the first things they pointed out was that, look at how you can cut these watermelons so precisely. You know, this is a cool feature. But you know how development goes, right? Yo, what's up? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. Oh. Let me pick this inconspicuous motorcycle. This motorcycle that's been left here for no particular reason. Other than it's just here. Mouse, get out of here. A C? I'll accept that. Oh, I did get the achievement. Nice. Even after I spent all that time looking at those watermelons. Uh, let's see. What can we buy? What can we buy today? Uh, last skill. Definitely. It's not the last skill. Uh, I'll probably unlock something down the road, along with the fuel cells. Uh, should I even upgrade the Fox Blade anymore? Uh, I could get Absorption. Energy Enhancement. I think the energy would be the best. Honestly. Uh, because then we can use our, our blade mode for longer, rather than just getting more electrolytes. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> Sorry, regular blade. Desperado version. All right, we're good here. I wonder what else we're going to have to do. There's nothing more badass than 
A cyborg riding a motorcycle. I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. I feel like Raiden's going a little slow. Right? Couldn't he go faster? Wolf, what are you doing here? Oh! Sam. If it isn't the man of the hour. Like having a little heart to heart? I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me. Here we go. <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you huh oh good <laughs> why that's very good yes I like that must you really fight don't interfere this is between us here okay let's dance oh boy Just you. gotta switch over to the regular blade for this I want to enjoy this goes by no damage Maybe I 
There we go. No lyrics. I wonder what that symbolizes, huh? Miss that one. I'm missing a lot of those kicks. Alright, just had to test it out. I recognized what was going on there. Managed to death. Dodge that one. Another classic case of me trying to say something while thinking something else. Ah! Missing those. The fight's almost over. It'd be kind of embarrassing if I used up two of my health packs, but I don't think that's the case. Point one percent. Oh, 
There we go. You're finished. Playtime's over. That was kind of fun. All human? Evidence. Inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. Getting all philosophical and shit. With these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked? ID locked. How can you ID lock a sword? high frequency blade, the efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My vial indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. I can understand ID locking a gun, but how do you ID lock an, a sword? That's like ID locking a knife. How do you prevent somebody from from using a knife? Does it like prevent your muscles from swinging or something? Is that how that works? But then why could Raiden, you know, swipe away the blood? I don't know. <laughs> That's something I've always wondered. Uh, no, we don't need to. I don't think we've unlocked anything so far. But this, this cutscene is really what ties it back to the rest of Metal Gear. <laughs> Especially MGS4. Maybe not this scene in particular, but... It's coming up. Are you, uh, Mr. Ryden, sir? <laughs> I like how he just opens those doors. Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here. <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey, you're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Jake? Oh. <laughs> Good boy. That's kind of a charged <laughs> word, Sonny. Uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me.
So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. Lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> I wonder how much Snake and Otacon helped Sonny create this company. Or if they had any any involvement at all. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! <laughs> Based. <laughs> Goofy, but still kind of serious at the same time. What I like and hate about this game is that they don't mention Snake or Otacon too much. If anything, I think there's one line about each of them. And I both like and hate it. Because well, I like that they don't anything? really tell you what happened. They don't Nothing. really give you, you any sure info. The right place? And I think that's how it should have been. Be. It's the only base big it enough with be. security contracted out to World Marshal. All right, I'm headed in. I want to reveal all the secrets, right? Everybody has their own head cannon for what happens afterwards. But if I remember correctly. Doesn't Raiden imply that Snake is still alive? So at least four years after MGS4, Snake is still alive and kicking. That's good to know, right? <laughs> Just to explain a little bit. Uh... This game takes place right after MGS4, which was a PS3 exclusive. Uh, still is a PS3 exclusive, the only way to play it is on original hardware. Unless those guys over at RPCS3 can work out all the kinks of getting an emulator up and running, I think. I think you can play it, but it's just, uh... It's, it's got its own bugs, and it's not 100% playable. I think it is playable, but it's... you should... If you really want to experience MGS4, you gotta play it on original hardware. Which is kind of hard to do since, you know, PS3 and all. But... All these characters are pretty much. Exif codes show up this is pretty much a direct sequel Wait, to MGS4. Had the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal Exif code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with the Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado Marshal connection. Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. 
It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Oh. It's a little too early for that, Raiden. Uh, but... Sunny was uh, originally the daughter of uh, what's her name? Gerlukovich? Something in MGS2. It's it's way too complex to go into, but uh, Sunny used to be this uh, kind of recluse, I guess you could say. Right. Uh, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. With and Snake in their flying plane. But after they took down the Patriots, everything kind of got better, so to speak. And Snake's fight was over. Which is, I'm pretty sure why they chose right into this game. Not just that you know, it's cool to fight with a sword and all, but you can't exactly use Snake for anything anymore. Maybe some remake games, but uh, you know, in the timeline, MGS4 is the last thing that happens. Well, at least the Snake, anyways. Just checking to see if I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Okay. Uh, there's a box up there, which I probably would have missed. Um, how the hell do I even get up there? Probably. Probably from these stacked up containers, right? All right. This is the last level of the game, so we're pretty much already <laughs> at the end of it. This is the final stretch. We literally just go around that corner and that's the end of the game. Spoilers. Oh. You don't see anything. <laughs> oh, and these two guys are gonna come investigate, huh? Ah! Uh, yeah! Get off! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't see that. Yeah, I'll talk about more about... I'll talk about more. I'll talk more about MGS4 when we actually play it. So look out for that stream. I don't expect it to be anytime soon, but... It's gonna happen. Oh, great. Oh. Uh, I probably should not have done that now, now that I think about it. No, okay. I don't know how to get up there. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, 
No! Okay, well, there goes that arm. Riding got stuck up there. There we go. Okay, I know for sure there's, yeah, a box up there. That has... Uh, the last health upgrade. There we go. Okay, so I have picked up every health upgrade. Uh, there's one in one of the VR missions that I never do. So I'm always perpetually stuck at 190. Oh. And I'm gonna assume uh, the last uh, electrolyte thing is... Oh, it's on that one? The last electrolyte thing is gonna unlock after this mission. Or maybe it unlocked before and I just didn't check. <laughs> uh, but no, that seems like everything here. Okay. All right, around that corner, and we're done with the mission. The mission. Done with this game. Isn't that funny? I think that this is a game that really, uh, really embodies the term, enjoy the journey. Get off! Oh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Can see nothing here. I'm a master of stealth. Please, Chancellor. Stealth is our speciality. Okay, let's see if I can sneak up behind this guy. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. No! No, he's too far! Ah! Oh. All right, so that's two arms. God damn it. Okay. What the hell is that wolf? How is he already destroyed? There's like nothing around him. Little fun Easter egg here. No, I can't just Stop hiding in boxes. Oh, uh, but I think that should be it. Yeah. All right. Time for the end of the game. I'm gonna switch over to my bad sword, so I can enjoy this this fight. <laughs> Wolf, what the hell happened to you? they get a metal gear 
beneath this whole base without anybody noticing. Jack. <laughs> Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Private, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. <laughs> I believe it. These do seem but like comments people would actually make. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us <laughs> in Nationalism. Unilateralism. Memeism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. Keep in mind, this is all made by a Japanese company. Japanese developers and storyboard artists, writers, and producers. And yet I think it captures exactly what American politicians... Uh, it captures the core essence of American politicians. Yeah. 
Excel sauce? Like... Like... Like Among Us sauce? Excel sauce? Metal Gear Vented. Ah. I keep trying to get out of the way. Yeah, have you noticed me blocking all those attacks? I kind of still giving me damage. Oh. I guess a little bit of damage is better than, you know, the... Whatever it is that I'm getting dealt with. Then again, I am using my bad sword. Ah. Okay. We'll use our good sword for this. Oh, I can go through. Maybe not. Okay. Now it opened up. Now we can actually do some damage. is lost don't you worry <laughs> got hit from that. The purpose of these geckos is to give you more health. Ah, oh, oh, come on! Okay. Oh, barely got that. Wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to make it too easy now, would we? Not a good time, Gecko. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I got it. Oh. 
purchase your happiness. Almost. <laughs> We're almost there. out. Give me health!
Look at that. Slicing the entire Metal Gear. Look at all those, those objects. Look at that cutting. The cross sections on that. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> But here we go, this is the real kicker. Could have played college ball, you know. Could have went pro if I didn't join the Navy. Slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. We gotta use the regular blade now. Nice, nice, nice. Miss the chin. Economy. What a 
Capital and votes. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual. Not the other way around. Oh. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Where every man is free to think, to act for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America's disease, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! <coughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! <coughs> the weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What? What the hell are you talking about? Keep in mind this game came out in 2013. You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected. <laughs> so I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil, not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars. Have I finally gotten through? or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack.
Jacko pose. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive. Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. <laughs> Justice in the hands of the people, Jack. Both of the guys, both of these guys are neither wrong nor right at the same time. Come on, Jack. Kind of part of the reason why <laughs> we're still talking about them, and this game has kind of cemented its place in meme history. That's what I like about this game so much. <laughs> oh, here it comes! Here it comes! <laughs> Standing here, I realize. Why won't you Why die? Won't you die? <laughs> Nano machine, son. Nano machine, son. They hide in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. So, 
You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs> This isn't my sword. I said my sword was a tool of justice. Not used in anger. Not used for vengeance. But now, now I'm not so sure. And besides, this isn't my sword. Here we go! Final boss fight! Two hundred percent! One hundred and fifty five. Almost there. Standing here. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I missed it. I let go of the button. Let's try that again. Oh god, I don't have enough. There goes my no damage. Not exactly going as planned. There we go. Oh, 
Over, I could do a lot better. But where's the fun in that, right? Oh! Wow, I am getting my ass beat. I've got enough. I've got enough uh, blade mode juice. There we go. There we go. They dropped some repair paste for us. Oh. Maybe hope is not all lost. Oh. Or maybe it is. <laughs> That last one, really. Almost full. Let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, 
final boss fight done. That's a nice <laughs> Let's see A bee Eh yeah. There we go Murasama blade This is the one I usually use On my on my Xbox version. I fully upgraded that. Infinite Wig A. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Official pet right for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable! After all that! For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. Coffee cup. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? The older pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? Ah, uh, coffee cup. <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets. Or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, uh, there goes that coffee. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> 
imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi! Sunny! Where you have me again? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me? But all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? Oh. 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 Alert. Alert. Release in day. This is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> Oh, me see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. That's the game. <laughs> Looking down on the cars on the highway. Stream of I don't think I can skip this actually. I guess we can watch the credits. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on this game. As a huge Metal Gear fan, uh, I absolutely adore this game. <laughs> In terms of its story, the lore, and its gameplay. I mean, it's, it's different from every other Metal Gear, but... It's still a pretty amazing game. Uh, I like how it expands the lore of Metal Gear. <laughs> like I said in other streams, this is the furthest in the timeline of Metal Gear. So this, this game takes place in 2018, I think. Yeah, because uh, MGS4 takes place in 2014. So... You know, as far as we know, this this is the last game <laughs> in the series. Uh, every other game that came out after this kind of went back to Big Boss and into the 1970s, 1980s. So it's kind of sad that this is the last uh, Metal Gear in the timeline. But I guess it's a welcome end to it. It lets you know, hey, things have changed. Uh, Snake is kind of retired now. <laughs> His job is done. Uh, but Raiden is still out about in the world. Making 
I guess, the world a better place in his own way. Which we'll see in the epilogue. But I, I love... I love the, uh... The lore that it brings. Because after MDS4, I, I, things were kind of a bit shaky. You didn't really know what happened. How the world might change from getting rid of the Patriots, but... With this game, we have our answer. Which kind of makes sense. <laughs> you know, given the history of MGS, uh, I'd say the events in this game do make sense in terms of the world. And I think the music is great. S plus tier. I listen to this. <laughs> the, the soundtrack for this game is the second soundtrack that I ever listened to, like regularly. Like, I don't listen to a lot of video game soundtracks. Uh, it's usually a lot of generic music. Uh, but on the regular, I listen to ODST's soundtrack and this and Rising's soundtrack. But yeah, <laughs> it's a good game. If you haven't played it, I would recommend picking it up. Uh, I think in Steam sales, it drops down to like $5. This game is worth a lot more than $5, but you're getting your money, your money's worth on that front. I heard that they were gonna make a Metal Gear Rising 2 that would uh, have Gray Fox fight nano machine zombies. But I think that's been long canceled since forever ago. Kind of a shame. Uh, but I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> At least we got this game. Can you imagine what meme culture would be like if this game didn't come out? That is a world that I do not want to be living in. <laughs> a soul. Can't be cut, can't be cut. Rules of nature. I'm my own master now. The only thing I know for real, a stranger I remain. The stains of time, do 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 do. Red sus. Active consciousness. It has to be this way. The war still rages within. I think that should be the end of the credits, no? Square Enix worked on this game? Uniqlo? Late design in-game magazine illustration? <laughs> Yeah, when this game came out, I was in middle school, I think. Funny to think. But I didn't play it until like my sophomore, junior year of high school. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think? A couple years ago, I would have been like, oh yeah, this game came out like, you know, five years ago. Now it's almost, almost 10. <laughs> what is that? What is time? Okay, I think that's it. Epilogue time. And how's business? Oh, good, good. The hair doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. 
Uh, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So... Your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then... What will you do? As much as I like Raiden, knowing that the happy ending he got in MGS2 and MGS4 kind of got reversed in this game, it's kind of sad. Alright. Three days? Or three hours? Both seem kind of wrong, but... We already know that the cutscenes don't count towards playtime, which is kind of good. Uh, only 300,000 BP? Sundat sus. Longest combo, normal kills, blade mode kills, explosive, total kills, remaining enemies. Uh, continues, alerts, beheadings, left arms, right arms, left legs, right legs, total cuts. And I have zero titles. Passing rain. Okay. Mr. 1%. Okay. Battle tested. Okay. Jack the Ripper. Okay. Four titles. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. Played this on normal. All right. Let's see. Uh, what can we do now? Collection? No, uh... Flex. Can't we... Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so now we have Jetstream and Bladewolf DLC. Chapters. Can we just go to the boss fights? Oh, DLC story. Okay. Uh... Let's see if I want to play Monsoon again. Yes. Okay, never mind. That is not at all what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> it's all a learning game, right? Uh, let's try that again. Now, how would I choose just the boss fight? Sorry. Chapter? I thought if I selected the chapter, it would give me... No, I guess not. Eh. All right, I know that's a thing. You can just choose the boss fights. Uh, how? I have no idea. I probably have to beat it on, on like revengeance difficulty or something, something ridiculous like that. Uh, let's check out this wig first. I wanna. I wanna check that out. Wig. Okay. Which one is this? Infinite ammo. Okay. So this is not the the good one. Uh, there's, I think, three wigs, right? One that gives you... Or is it only two? Because I know the other one gives you infinite uh, blade mode juice. Oh, this one's only 10,000. Yes, I will! Uh, I want this to be the main sword that we use. Well, the main sword that I'm gonna use. So I'll, I'll probably 
play this offline again. Thanks for watching the stream. I will... I will be playing the DLCs. I don't know how long the, G the DLCs take. I don't think they're that long. I could probably fit both of them into one stream. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the end for today. Thanks for watching. I'll be back on... What's today? Friday? Uh... Was it Wednesday? No. Wednesday. Yeah, it is Wednesday. Okay. So I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> the schedule that I have currently is Friday, Saturday, and Wednesday. So we'll be back tomorrow with the DLCs. At the same, same solo time, same solo channel. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich and then I'm gonna go work out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Check out the links in the description. And I'll see you when I see ya. Peace.